If you are looking for a workflow that can produce decals efficiently, then you cannot afford to ignore this video. Because in this video, we are going to compare two workflows for making decals to determine the best one. Is it better to have an all-in-one print and cut device? Or is it better to have separate devices, one to print and the other to cut? At times you may think that it would be more cumbersome to have two separate devices, taking the print out and then placing it in the cutter, whereas an all-in-one printer cutter would seem to be just the ticket for reducing steps, providing high production, and not to mention taking less space in your shop. Well, let's find out and see if this is true. Let's introduce you to the devices we will be using for the two workflows in this competition. The first workflow will be using two separate devices, the HP DesignJet L25500 latex printer and the GraphTech FC8000-130 cutter. This is our print and cut duo workflow versus the all-in-one Roland VersaCam VS640 printer cutter. The idea here is to find out which workflow can provide the fastest throughput, giving you the better productivity. Today's job for our competition consists of printing 84 decals using approximately 10 feet by 5 feet of material and then contour cutting around each decal. Both workflows will be using the same type of material with similar settings. The Roland VersaCam will be printing at 720 dpi and using its own Roland VersaWorks software RIP. The HP DesignJet will be printing at 600 dpi using the Onyx Production House software RIP. Both printers are printing bi-directionally. As for the cutting, the GraphTech FC8000 cutter will be controlled from GraphTech's own Cutting Master 2 plug-in software. To be fair, we are excluding any rip time. The timing will start when the HP and Roland both start printing, and the time will be marked once the job is finished cutting the decals for each workflow. The media has been loaded and the jobs are now being sent. To save time, we will switch to a time-lapse video. As you can see, the HP DesignJet has finished the first print job. The print is removed from the HP DesignJet. And will now be inserted into the GraphTech FC8000 equipped with the ARMS or Automatic Registration Mark Sensor System. While the GraphTech FC8000 is sizing up the media, a second print job has already started on the HP DesignJet. That, in itself, cannot be done with an all-in-one printer cutter. To begin the contour cut, the blade on the GraphTech FC8000 is aligned over the first registration mark. A fairly simple and easy process. After sending the job, the GraphTech FC8000 automatically locates the registration marks and begins to contour cut the job. Let's go back to the time-lapse video and wait for the winner.
The GraphTech FC8000 has finished cutting the job. So the HP Design Jet and GraphTech FC8000 Print and Cut Duo has finished its job with a time of 33 minutes and 47 seconds and is in the process of producing another job while the Roland Versicam is still printing the first job. The common impression with an all-in-one print and cut device is that it saves time and money by having one machine because it can do it all. But at this point, you can see through this misconception. With all-in-one printer cutters, you have a jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none scenario. In other words, because of being an all-in-one device, there's actually a sacrifice in throughput. In the case, for instance, of the Roland Versicam, the cutting speed is at a max of 11.8 inches per second, whereas the GraphTech FC8000 cutters can cut up to 58 inches per second. Another key benefit of having two machines is the ability to run multiple jobs at once. As we can see, while the GraphTech FC8000 is contour cutting, you can send a second job to the HP Design Jet. And while the HP Design Jet is printing, you can begin cutting yet another job on the GraphTech FC8000. You can even produce print-only and cut-only jobs simultaneously, a feat that all-in-one devices cannot achieve. You may think that having an all-in-one setup saves space. Well, imagine having to cut a rush job on the cutter with the all-in-one device while it's printing. It is impossible unless you stop the printing. This dilemma is only solved by purchasing an extra cutting device, which in reality no longer saves you space. Having separate devices, though, will give you the best of both worlds, fast printing and fast cutting. This will give you the ability to do two jobs at once, adding workflow flexibility and maximizing the number of customers you can help. Let's return to the time-lapse video and wait for the Roland to finish. The Roland Versicam is finished. Looking at the clock, it took about 52 minutes and 24 seconds. Now compare that to just 33 minutes and 47 seconds for our Print and Cut Duo system. In a normal 8-hour day, the Print and Cut Duo can produce almost double the amount of work than the all-in-one printer cutter can produce. The clear winner is obvious. The faster workflow is using the HP GraphTech Print and Cut Duo we were able to print and cut twice the amount with these two products than the all-in-one printer cutter. In the end, having a separate printer and cutter results in increased speeds and increased productivity, which equals more money in your pocket at the end of the day.